Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to do another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we have got one system from the user VY Canis Majoris to check out, um, our latest competition winner as of making this video as well. Um, and their system is called the Olaris system and looking at the thumbnail it looks like we've got a planetary disc or something. So this is going to be pretty cool. Let's get it up. It should be here. Yep, there it is. Okay. Right. What have we got? It's taking some time to load. Oh, it could be something interesting. It's going to be spicy. That loading time. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? Holy crap, that is. It's got galaxies in it and every. Oh. Milk Milkdromeda. Okay. Large Magellanic Cloud. Oh. So this is in the far future then. Surely. Oh, oh hi. Um, oh my god, this is insane. Uh, Alaris, use enhanced size, disable fragmentation. The sim is somewhat stable if you can play it. Frames per second will be bad. Ah, we can just even for my PC, it is a bit of a struggle. Uh, okay, enhanced size, uh, or enhanced uh, realistic light. Okay, rocky planet, blue gas giant, green dwarf. Okay, oh, he's designated so red are rocky planets, blue are gas giants. Green are dwarf planet and moons. Ignore Milkomeda and Co. They're just a decoration. Milkomeda is still in the process of merging. Okay. That's what's the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies. Very nice. Okay, next up. So, Alaris itself. Alaris is a main sequence star much brighter and larger than the Sun. It was formed as a dense nebula um, by the merging of the Milky Way and Andromeda, of which it has been ejected as it's still in the early stages of life, being less than a million years old. Okay. Right. Orbits. So, oh my god. Whoa! Holy damn! So. So, the first of the planets here. Okay, right. So, here it is. So, this is Lan Lania. Okay, this is the gas giant and the closest planet to Alaris by far. The only reason it has yet to turn the fireball is its pure white atmosphere, which deflect the heat away from it. Okay, it's also got two moons, so I'll have a quick look at those guys as well. So there they are, one and two. Uh, well, that's an asteroid. Uh, there's the second one, nice. Okay, so they're uh, obviously pretty close to the star there. Okay, got that over there, what's that? The Triangulum Galaxy. Oh, nice, that's over there as well. All right, next up. Oh, the particles, man. That's crazy. I mean, even with the galaxies here, I mean, the particles could still be pretty wild, but... Yeah, there's a cool view of the Milkomeda galaxy. Okay, where's Triangulum? Is that, uh, where is that? Where did it go? I'm sure I just saw it. Where, where, did, where, where are we? Ah, there it is. Okay, so I turn it off. There it is over there. Nice. All right. Uh, next up, we have uh, Charion. Okay, where's that? So that is here. It's a red rocky planet and the closest rocky planet to its star. It has caught five smaller planetoids and is the process of turning into rings, resulting in short-lived double ring systems to form. Its surface is covered by a thin layer of red sand covering jagged black rocks. Okay, there it is. Over there. Okay, cool. Okay, next up we got Inalia. Oh, but there's so many objects. This is crazy. Right. It's a small rocky planet covered in magma. It's the hottest planet in the system despite being the third closest to the star. Uh, constant asteroid impacts have raised the temperature widely from its uh, equivalent. Okay. There it is. Okay. Nice. Oh, the lag. Right, okay. Uh, outer system. Titania. Okay. Named after the moon of Uranus. Largest moon of Uranus. Titania is a small rocky planet and the first planet in the Hatable Zone. It has a rocky surface and many pools of red lakes along its surface. Its magnetic access puts the planet on its side. Okay, so there it is. I don't see much of the red, I have to say. Where is that? It's the interesting. Okay. Has a moon as well. There it is. Okay, next up we've got Galhurst. Over here. 
It's the second gas giant in the system and it's a dominant planet in the system. It has the largest ring system out of all the planets and brown coloration. Its moon system is the largest by far. Nice. So that's got a set of rings. All these rings. Whoa. Okay, there's the moons. There we are there. There's even more. Look at all these. Oh. All these little guys. So yeah, we'll get the, try and get them all on uh, camera here. There you go. Okay. Oh my god, there's even more. Whoa. That's a lot of moons. So we'll try and get them all up. I think that's mostly all of them. Some of them are just minor asteroids, so you can see. Uh, all right, okay. Actually, one idea to prevent lag, we could try and get rid of the smaller galaxies. I mean, look, the this over here. I don't think we really need to. I hope that will help our simulation speed and the large cloud as well. We'll keep Mill Comet there, but all the other ones I think we can probably get rid of. So is that, does that help a bit? I want to say it does. So it's just milk dromedona, milk milk dromedona. Okay, yeah, that, that seems to be running a little better. Okay, uh, next up we got uh, Balafron, Balafron, Balafron. Look how many objects we're skipping though. Like there's so many in here. Oh. It's a large rocky planet covered in red deserts. One side of it is covered by a large ocean formed in an impact crater with a smaller sized object. Um, the other half is covered by a high plateaued saline water from piling up. Okay, so there it is. Next up we've got Al Shakuri. We're here. Ooh, this one looks cool. Whoa, that's a really cool looking Earth flight world. I like that. I like that. That looks really cool. Um, it, it's a rocky planet that orbits uh, to Bala from Angalhurst. It has deep oceans surrounded by high cliffs. There are a few areas where the sea meets the land gradually. The sturdy, uh, the sturdy rocks it's made of allow the mountains to be up to 20 kilometers in height. That is a seriously cool looking rocky planet, I think. Look at that. There you go. I like that. I'm gonna grab a save of that. I really, really like the way that looks. Uh, hang on, miss. There you go. Throw some lights on it as well, why not? That looks really cool. Really, really like that. That was a great looking Earth like world. Uh, got some rings, obviously, as well. And also uh, some moons. There you go. Okay. Ooh, got another moon here as well. Nice. Okay, next up we have got. Oh, this is the last one. Uh, Al Merva. Which is it? That one there. There it is, yeah. So it's the only ice giant in the system and the largest planet. It has. Uh, it has the furthest orbit of the main planets and is the most stable by far. Okay, cool. Remember, this is a very early system, so a lot of stuff could change. It has a Hatable Moon as well. That is dangerously close. That'll get torn up by Roosh Limit. That is too close. Damn. Okay. We've also got some more moons as well. Alrighty. There you go. Okay. Right, so now we've got all that out the way. So, if we've got orbits on again, there's all the orbits, but we missed a lot of objects here. So, look, you can see all of these. So, what is this color coordination? Uh, red is rocky planet, blue is gas giant, green dwarf planet, and moon. Okay. So, all of these ones here are dwarf planets, so these light greens. So, literally, all of these. That's a pretty cool, uh, nice blue one there, look. So, there's a lot of objects in here. That's pretty cool. That is such a cool rocky planet. I really, really like the way that looks. I mean, the blacked out atmosphere just makes it look really cool. I mean, if you were to give it a blue atmosphere, I mean, it still looks pretty good. So there it is. Nice. Got some more uh, rockies in here as well. Let's actually just do this. Wait for it. Wait there. Aha! Oh, look at the speed. Look at the speed. So, no more milky... Uh, actually, no, no. Uh, there you go. There's the milky... Oh, there's the new galaxy combined. Uh, but okay. So, now we can really go through all the planets at good speed. So... There you are. But yeah, we'll uh, try and keep them all here. We'll try and f focus the ones we didn't see. But yeah, there you go. So, it's a very sort of early system in development. But I think what we need to do is over here. We need to see this play out. So, 
This is doomed to fail. I don't see how this would last. I press play. I did it. Surely that is going to get ripped up. There's no way. That is dangerously close to its parent. I mean, how is that still going? I mean, surely the roost limit would really start to hurt this guy. I mean, that is 22 degrees. You can see as time plays, all the moon orbits are going to start changing as well. We have got all of our simulation stuff on. Fragment, maybe we need that on. Oh, that is crazy. Uh, I think we'll have a little manual intervention here because this should be torn up. A bit like, I don't know how that is going to work. There we go. Oh, it could crash into it. That works. <laughs> so there you go. Okay. So there's that part of the system. <laughs> so how is this going to play out? This like evolved from the solar system from birth to death here. This is so much is going to change here. Let's run some simulation time. Let's see stuff change. Remember, a lot of these have moons as well, so there could be some serious changes going on here. Let's just see if anything dramatic happens over a long period of time. You can see the orbits are all going to change. I mean, they're very, very clear. They're very, very circular. There's no way. Let's see an ejection. Look, completely ejected out. Little asteroid, that is gone. Damn. All right. Fastest we can go. We can't go any faster because there's moons. Moons always slow simulation speed down. That's wild. <laughs> So we can only run it a few years, unfortunately. Oh, well. But yeah, you can see it even in a few years. We've only done 50 years. So an object already got ejected straight away. So that is uh, that's pretty crazy. So another object with a blue trail here. What's, did we, oh, yeah, we checked out this one, yeah. Oh, another object's gone. Completely gone. So you can see that after a long period of time, yeah, a lot of these don't seem to last very well. Actually, what I'm going to try to do is delete all the moons. Look, you can see that these moons are falling apart as well. Oh, man. Let's just try and actually see if we can get this simulation to run at good speed. I mean, the more moons we delete, the quicker the simulation should go. So it should be pretty cool. So over here, was there a moon around here, wasn't there? Well, they, they're not anymore. They've broken away. Both moons are broken away. <laughs> oh, dear. This one had moons, didn't it? Uh, no, it didn't. Not anymore, anyway. Uh, we know the blue one did. And they're still going. Yeah, so let's try and get rid of those. There you go. So these can we run any faster? No, not really. There's still a set of moons somewhere that I can't remember where. Uh, I really don't know about these asteroid moons. Can't in the middle of the black hole still exists. Let's get rid of it. There you go. Maybe that'll help. I really don't know. How can we make it run quicker? <laughs> oh, all glowing hot. Oh dear. Oh wow. Right. It's going to be quite hard to work out where all of these are. Oh, yeah, this one has moons. Let's get rid of those. Literally, you can't have any moons at all, otherwise the simulation speed will be so slow. I want to say that helped a bit. Yeah, it's definitely running quicker now. Uh, there you go. Yeah, we're now running at four years, so you can see just getting rid of the moons makes a big difference. So there you go. But you can still see it. All bits are uh, holding on. Some uh, are getting bent around a lot, though. I mean, any objects of higher mass always cause more problems, but if they're all quite low mass, then there'll be less interactions over a long period of time. So it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. So there you go. So there's a little bit of a taste of what the evolution would look like. But yeah, with that all said and done, guys, I must have thank you again to VUI Canis Majoris for sending their simulation. And if you guys liked it, make sure to uh, hit that like button on this video. Let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video. And also subscribe for more help on the journey to 25,000 subscribers as we are less than 100 subscribers away now so let's see if we can try and hit that um, this weekend oh, um, that would be absolutely amazing really really appreciate all the support and also if you'd like to submit your own simulations as well guys make sure to join my discord server link in the description and you just um, upload in there but um, yeah that all said and done guys make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next video goodbye